Arrested the man caught on camera spitting at two hikers and claiming that he had COVID. WBZ's Ken McLeod is live in Ashburnham tonight. And Ken, police say that video helped identify him. It did, Lisa, and with a combination of social media and old-fashioned detective work, police got it done. But today, a 71-year-old retiree known on social media as the Ashburnham Spitter pled not guilty to an unusual felony. Let's, let's just say that it was no surprise. He was not surprised upon our arrival this morning to speak to him. Police say 71-year-old Hale Powell was pretty much expecting them when detectives showed up at his Westford home this morning. Okay, I have COVID. Hale, Hale, Hale. It's been 10 days now since this encounter on the Hudson Overlook along the Mid-State Trail. Police say two women hikers were sitting on a bench here when Powell passed by and got mad at them for not wearing masks. He called them selfish, irresponsible lawbreakers and then spit at them several times claiming to have coronavirus. I have COVID. I have been tested positive. You okay? No. You won't be soon. Today, Hale's story was a bit different. The individual status stated to us that he is not, um, but I'm going to leave that up to the court whether or not they require him to get a test. After determining early on that their suspect was not a local guy, police cast a wider net on social media, and that eventually helped lead them to Hale, who was arraigned today on misdemeanor assault charges, along with falsely threatening a biological agent, a felony. Police say their investigation into the back and forth out on the trail isn't over yet. It's stress and it's pressure um, not to justify the incident in any way. It was, uh, it was a wrongful uh, that didn't have to happen. Powell's attorney called his client's behavior a 20-second aberration. The judge ordered Powell released, but he also ordered him to get a COVID test and to quarantine for 14 days. Live in Ashburnham tonight, Ken McLeod, WBZ News.